This week, the Biden administration is reuniting the first migrant family separated under President Trump. At least four families are expected to be reunited by the end of the week. I asked President Biden in our exclusive conversation last week about his administration's failure to reunite, to that point, reunite any families in his first 100 days. According to our reporting, in, in your first 100 days, not one child's been reunited. How, I don't think how, that, how is that? I, I don't think that's true, but that could be about the one child not being reunited. What we have done is we have, re, we have united children with their families as they've come across the border. But one of the things is we don't know yet where those kids are. And we're trying like hell to figure out what happened. I want to bring in NBC's Jacob Soboroff. He's been covering the challenges at the border extensively for some years now. And, and Jacob, you and I, we talked about the challenges that this administration has faced with this process uh, around this time on Friday. And now we have the first four migrant families set to be reunited. What, what do we know about them, these families, and, and their path to reunification? Well, we know, Craig, that they have been waiting so long, in some cases over three years. And we also know that these families uh, have been eagerly awaiting this news, which is, you know, no way else to cut it. It is very, very good news. Uh, it is a start. Um, it's a limited amount of families, but it is extraordinarily good news. They've been waiting for a long time. There are 30 or so families who have been ready to cross into the United States and come back for reunification uh, for many months. And the lawyers that represent them wish this would have happened faster. Uh, the administration itself um, is holding this up uh, as a success after you asked the president uh, last week why no families had yet to be reunited. What we know about these families in particular, some come from Honduras, some come uh, from Mexico, um, but all of them uh, were subject to this policy that Secretary Mayorkas yesterday uh, told me and other reporters he believed was cruel, he believed was intentional. Uh, and this is the very beginning of a process now that will likely stretch on uh, for years, although the lawyers for the families would like to see it move much quicker than that. What, what, what do we know about this administration's plans uh, for the remaining separated families? There's over a thousand families that remain separated as you and I talk, Greg. That's something Michelle Brunet, who runs the task force for the Biden administration, told us yesterday. Uh, they're going to have to go through on an individual case by case basis to figure out what type of relief, meaning how are they going to get these families back into the United States, and so many of them uh, have been deported, uh, what type of relief they're all going to get, uh, where they're all going to be reunited, and ultimately what type of services, they call them wraparound services, these families will need for the rest of their lives because of the trauma suffered, uh, because very specifically because of this Trump administration family separation policy. Jacob Sober, our force uh, this morning on the family separations. Jacob, thank you. Thanks as always, Sober. Thanks, Greg. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.